glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Good block. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. That was not well targeted by Briggs. That's a stinging right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Halfway through round number one. Vladimir Klitschko putting his punches together and scoring with them. Vladimir has a real knack for being accurate in his combinations. Commits to the straight right. That's a fierce jab by Vladimir Klitschko. Flush right hand to the head. Right to the body. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. Head movement, head movement. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Vladimir Klitschko with those big arms of his. I mean, he blocks a punch. He really defends it well like a shield. End of round one. Vladimir Klitschko's corner has got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beatdown on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Solid left hand to the head. Vladimir Klitschko, a very worldly guy. He has interests beyond the ring, an avid golfer, but also a chess player and a kite surfer. Now he ties up there. Cannon's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Double up your punch. A solid uppercut by Briggs. Halfway through this round. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, freight, typically the win. Klitschko has every tool on the tool belt. Now you see what happens when he utilizes one of them, the left hand. And this round comes to an end. Vladimir Klitschko's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Missed the butt. Vladimir Klitschko's defense. Is it ever good? Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Hey, keep fighting. Just let's go. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, 
all of a sudden he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Looking good. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Able to get rid of that one. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the cannon. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Uppercut. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. You see him holding on. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. The cannon's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Start of round number four, easy scorecard to put together. Oh, a good right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. Lands a big hook. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that, but boxing is such a global sport, and every little region of the country defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're gonna get a fighter who's a little cruder, and he's gonna have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball, or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits from somebody's background or preparation. Briggs is stumbled back. He just got hurt. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Yeah! Vladimir Klitschko's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Stay on the outside. Side to side. Ten clicks of the talk. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Vladimir Klitschko's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's gonna have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Right, let's do it. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing?
doing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Pace yourself. Gunning him down with a headshot. That's exactly what the corner wants. Well done by Briggs. Vladimir Klitschko's jacked up by an uppercut. Pace yourself. Halfway into round number five here. Goes up top with a right hand. Right to the belt line. Come on, baby. Up, up. You're that tall, you're that big, you're that capable, you're gonna land jabs like he just did. Vladimir Klitschko scores again. It's okay. Well, this is the kind of work, a good solid headshot that won Vladimir Klitschko the heavyweight championship and has kept him on top now for the better part of this decade. Yeah, what I like about it is when he throws the punches, he's always in position to come back with another one. I'm expecting him to start coming back with other ones now. Nice work, nice work. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Well played, straight right hand. Oh, what a whiff by Vladimir Klitschko. <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko is now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have to work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in the ring to spar, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the guy miss. Just use his legs, use his head movement, use his blocking skills, and make sure he concentrates exactly on one thing, defense. He's shown it right now. How about that exchange? Just knifing up with that uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. What a big shot. Briggs is down. Will he be out? some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's going to avoid this opponent like the black plague that worked out really well throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that Watch the hook. right to the body And round six comes to an end. Vladimir Klitschko's well-conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. 
Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Keep doing what you're doing! Fine looking right hand by Briggs. Vladimir Klitschko is a well-rounded fighter. Right now, Vladimir is showing you what he can... Big shot there! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Vladimir Klitschko's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have